Hey, my name is John Clark, licensed therapist, and in this video I'm gonna be talking to you about six signs that you might be overlooking your mental health, and perhaps it's time to reach out and get some professional help. Let's dive in. Number one, you're getting angry over little things. So you might just notice that you're getting angry over things like, well, spilled milk, as they say, or things taking too long, or traffic is more annoying than before. If you find yourself just being a little more irritable than normal, or maybe someone in your life says, hey, you seem a little more irritable, which might piss you off a little bit and make you more irritable, then it might be time to reach out to a professional, get some counseling, and check in on your mental health. Being a little more irritable might just mean that you have more stress than you're aware of, right? You might be carrying more stress, you might even be a little bit depressed, you might be more anxious than normal, and you might just not be dealing with it as best as you probably could. Number two, maybe you have increased bouts of anger, fear, sadness or any other negative emotion like that. In fact, maybe you have kind of outbursts of these things like feeling really sad all of a sudden for no apparent reason. This is really common, especially with depression. You know, when someone's depressed, a lot of people are like, hey, what are you depressed about? Or there's nothing to be depressed about. A depressed person isn't depressed about anything in particular, right? Otherwise, it would be easy just to kind of click out of it or, you know, people tell them just to cheer up, which is awful advice for someone who's dealing with depression. But I think what you want to think about is, are you you having more intense negative emotions maybe again people in your life are noticing maybe you just feel really angry all of a sudden and again you don't know why or it's disproportionate to the thing that's making you angry these negative emotions might be cues that it's time to get some professional help number three you're really extra critical of yourself maybe to the point of being even self-loathing right so we all have that inner critic in us that says we're you know we're not good enough or not smart enough or maybe we don't earn enough money or whatever it is we have that inner critic we got to learn to work with that, and that's a big part of therapy is kind of quieting the inner critic, sometimes looking at where it comes from in terms of the deeper roots. When the inner critic goes on and on for too long or is really loud in your mind right now, sometimes you can get into a state of self-loathing, right? Almost even hating yourself at times, right? If any of these things are going on, again, it might be a, a sign that you're overlooking your mental health and time to get some help. Number four, maybe you're withdrawing. Maybe you're not talking about what you're going through as much as uh, you normally would. A lot of times when we feel like we're going through a rough patch, we don't want to kind of be a burden on others, right? So we hesitate to reach out to the people that would love to hear from us or love to support us, right? And we just kind of turn inward. And of course, as you can guess, this makes your situation a lot worse. This makes your mental health a lot worse. Number five, maybe you're noticing physical signs of your mental health. So things like constant stomach aches or headaches. Maybe your sleep has been off. Maybe you're sleeping a lot more. Maybe you're sleeping a lot less. Maybe you're eating a lot more. Maybe you're eating a lot less. Maybe you have pain that uh, can be attributed to anything in particular. Any of these things or any combination of these things could potentially be associated with some mental health stuff that you might want to check out. Number six, maybe you're using a substance or any kind of addictive behavior to kind of numb out, to feel nothing or to feel a thrill. Maybe you're doing more risky things than usual to kind of feel something. If you just notice that, again, maybe you're drinking a bit more or you're eating a bit more to kind of change the way you feel, to change your physiological state, maybe you're taking risks more. These could be some signs that uh, you want to check in with your mental health, get started with a professional and reach out to maybe a professional that you already are in contact with. The reality is it's never a bad time to get some professional help. So, and by the way, this video isn't professional help. This is just me talking and sharing some ideas. If you are in need of help, definitely reach out, find a good therapist that can help you, a good therapist that's licensed and that you can trust and just start getting your mental health back on track as soon as you can. Hope this video was helpful. If so, hit the like button and let me know what you thought in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.